It seems like every time I see you in an interview or pick up something and read about what you're doing, there's sort of a whole other avenue that you're going down. I mean, the second that we start to, you know, pigeonhole you as <laughs> the Stanford guy who's really, you know, democratizing Ivy League education, then you're doing, you know, partnerships with San Jose State and trying to open up access. And I know that you've also done this course um, in conjunction with Google, which seems to go sort of more in the vocational area. So how would you talk about or how would you distill for our audience the strategy of Udacity? I mean, because it feels a little land grabby. So what we've done so far is only one thing. We've made the basic educational model work. Mm -hmm. And we ask ourselves what, what makes education really work irrespective of whether you're on the remedial level or on the more vocational level. Mm -hmm. And part of it is this computer thing that we invented, the, the massive open online classes. Part of it is a service layer around it where we help students make progress. We recently were able to get our retention rates from about 10% up to nearly 100% by having a better service layer around it. Mm -hmm. And part of it is in the accreditation layer to give value to these classes. Mm -hmm. And that basic formula we now have working and scalable. Okay. So in the past, we tried this out at different levels and did experiments here and there to see where it grabs the best and we found a, a good place. The next step is going to be an entire vertical. Let's go to computer science and fix it. Mm -hmm. So let's make a vertical where people from high school can get in and people who seek jobs can get out and just focus on this one vertical. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about the service layer? Because getting, um, keeping retention from 10 to 100% sounds like a pretty massive jump. Yeah, so we had this big problem in these massive open online classes that most students would just drop out and the number of people who finished was really, really ridiculously low. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the companies, of course, measure the number of signups, but they don't really tell you the number of finishers, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Uh, but if education is successful, we have to count the number of finishers, not the number of signups, which mm -hmm. is kind of logical. Mm -hmm. um, so what we did is we looked basically into other online entities that do this for have been doing this for a long time. And what they do is they call up people, they provide helplines. We we build up an entire tutoring staff in house or mentoring staff that really assists those students with the technical problems, with access problems, with reminding. And we could saw, see the, 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 the change in the data instantaneously from the moment we started doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, we lost almost no students anymore. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, our favorite class right now is statistics, which is a, a kind of an entry-level college class. Among the students who really signed up legit legitimately, we now have 100% retention. Like every single student stayed with us and taking every exam. So how does it work? If someone just starts missing classes, someone calls them and says, hey, you're missing your classes, Johnny? Yeah, we tried, we tried calling, <laughs> we tried email, we tried text messaging. We find that certain students respond more to text messaging, others more to emailing. Uh -huh. So we have a little analytics engine on the other side that understands how to best reach students. Mm -hmm. We can crank up our pressure if we so wish uh, to make students more focused. <laughs> and of course, we also added credit to the formula, which is really important. So this is something the currency in higher education is credit. Mm -hmm. uh, so it really helps people to, to, um, to, to gain something back. In this sort of experimentation phase, what has it worked? Oh yeah, quite a bit. So we um, most recently tried to really help in the remedial math and, and we had a lot of um, um, inner city, financially disadvantaged kids, uh, low performance children uh, in, enrolled in those classes. And the numbers haven't been staggering. Um, they're still being evaluated. This is an ongoing experiment. I can't share specific numbers, but it mm -hmm. turns out uh, getting kind of the remedial segment to be performing well it seems to be a mismatch to, to online type technology. Mm -hmm. um, we've uh, tried at some point to finance uh, purely by uh, placement of people in jobs, and we placed a, a whole number of people in jobs and made some money on it. But it became quickly apparent that to every student who signs up relative to someone you place in a job, there's a huge reduction factor. Mm -hmm. And it seems impossible to finance a company purely based on job placement. So we've moved away from this a little bit and really focus much more on services to students mm -hmm. and adding value to our classes that are tangible, like employer acceptance and credits in colleges, mm -hmm. the efforts.